In this video, let's take a look at establishing a basis of bearing. We imported four points, one, two, three, and eight, um, from another source, and we entered points nine and ten. We really don't care about nine and ten right now, but let's let's do use points one through eight here. I'm going to open up the traverses manager, and here's the traverse for the uh, imported points, and let's simply double click anywhere below it to create a new traverse. And um, let's call this control loop one. And I'm going to come down and choose a format for this called PLS as control 2D. It's a format that I created that has slope distance, zenith, and field angle, but displays geodetic positions instead of coordinates. And I want you to notice here <clears throat> that the occupied point sequence for this um, format that I've chosen is backsight, foresight. So when I create a new control point, new occupied station, the next point Traverse PC adds will be a backsight. The third point it adds will be a, a foresight. So let's choose OK. We'll pick a control loops format here that looks good, and let's choose OK. Traverse PC opens up the Traverse View format for me. And I'm just going to extend this down a little bit. I'm going to leave it in two lines per point because I want you to see how this works. And let's just start by recalling a couple of existing points. So I'm going to start at point three and press A. Traverse PC says point three already exists and asks what you'd like to do. I'm going to choose the option that says recall existing point and its coordinates. In fact, I could have just pressed enter a second time instead of clicking OK and would have recalled the point. Now notice that the next point is a back site because of that sequence that we looked at when we formatted the traverse. I'm going to recall point one as my back site. Again, it's an existing point, so I just press enter again. And now I could take off to the next foresight. Let's call that point 100 and start entering my information. Okay, slope distance, zenith, uh, horizontal angle, like, like that. So I've actually started a new traverse, a control traverse using two existing control points, points three and point one, to establish my basis of bearing. And now if I turn an angle off of this, and let's just put something in here, 100 feet, and let's turn an angle of 90. And let's go ahead and plot that. If we can just see what we're doing. I'm going to move that off to the side. Let's open up our, our drawing view here. Traverse PC asks us about creating a new drawing. And let's just do a zoom extends here. So. Here's my point three. I'm not displaying my, my back sight, um, but I turned a 90 degree angle off of that, and Traverse PC created point 100 out here at a distance of 100 feet. So one and three established my basis of bearing for this Traverse. Now let's talk about, or take a look at, establishing our basis of bearing with a solar observation. I'm going to go back to our Traverses Manager. I'm just going to create another Traverse called control loop with solar. I'll just leave this in the way it is, control loop, but I'm going to add a bearing this time because I want to see my reference azimuth. We'll leave everything else exactly the way it, it was here. Let's come back and choose OK. And when I start with a um, solar observation, I'm going to start with a control point. But my next point is going to come in as a back site. And I can call this back site whatever I want. I'm going to put, just put a 99 in, in here. And I'm going to go to Tools, Sunshot. Okay. Traverse PC uses the Leitz Hour Angle method. So I'm going to fill in some information about the latitude and longitude. I'm going to put in my time information, my ephemeris values. These are not included in the program, but available online from a number of different sources. And then um, I'm going to take my observations or enter my observations. So we're allowed up to five direct readings, up to five reverse readings, and Traverse PC will compute the mean of those and throw out any that um, are outliers. Uh, as a result of that, I will end up with a computed bearing uh, that Traverse PC brings back into the dialog box. And when I choose OK, that same bearing comes into this back site reference azimuth. Okay. So it becomes the reference azimuth for whatever I want to do next. 
I simply include the next point, turn an angle off of it, and away I go. Pretty, pretty simple to do.